When does a land surveyor need to calculate a base flood elevation for the purposes of flood hazard management? What is a base flood elevation? A base flood elevation is an elevation at the top of a floodplain. Why do we care about base flood elevations? Well, we care for a couple of reasons. First of all, base flood elevation will tell you how deep a flood will be in a particular area. And it also tells us which structures will be at risk for a, a particular flood at a particular type of intensity or severity. So base flood elevations are important, especially in areas where floods are a problem. I practice here in central California. We have river floods in the mountain. We have river floods down here in the valley and we have coastal flooding over in the Bay Area. So floods are a big deal. So where do you find base flood elevations? Base flood elevations are typically shown on what we call a firm, which is a flood insurance rate map. They're published by the folks over at FEMA or the Federal Emergency Management Association. So when does a surveyor need to calculate a base flood elevation? If they're shown on the firm map, why does a surveyor have to calculate one? Why would he or she be charging you for that? Well, not all flood zones have a base flood elevation listed. That's uh, one of the reasons why a surveyor sometimes has to calculate one. So let's talk about uh, three situations in which your surveyor may come to you and say, hey, to, to help you get out of the floodplain or to mitigate your flood risk to meet the requirements of the local floodplain regulator, I need to calculate a base flood elevation and you have to pay me to do that. So what are those three situations? One is when you have what I call sloped base flood elevation. So this typically happens along rivers or streams. The water, you know, is, is not level like with a lake or a pond or the ocean, but it, it follows a slope, right? So it's sloping down, water falls down, right? Downhill. And so because the, the river or the stream itself is on a slope, then the floodplain is also on a slope. And so if you look at a firm map for that kind of floodplain, you'll see that, that they show uh, cross sections or they show lines across the flood channel, generally perpendicular to the flow direction, and they'll have an elevation assigned. Okay, well, if, you're, if your particular piece of property doesn't land exactly at that spot where the elevation is shown going across the stream or the river, if you're in between, then a surveyor has to do some calculations they have to interpolate to be able to determine what that base flood elevation is. And then even after they've done that, uh, they may also, depending on the type of, of flood hazard you have, we may also have to calculate where that slope floodplain intersects with the existing topography to delineate the, uh, the actual limit of the floodplain on your particular piece of property. So the, that's the first situation, slope to base flood elevation or slope floodplain. So that, that will be a situation where we have to go in and do some calculations to determine the base flood elevation at a particular point or points. Uh, the second is uh, there are certain floodplains that don't have an assigned base flood elevation, but what they have, what the what the flood insurance rate map tells you is that the flood will be one or two feet or three feet above the existing topography. So it's like what we call sheet flow, right? So this happens on like an alluvial alluvial fan, for example, is a, is a type of type of geological feature with sh with where the flood kind of sheet flows over the existing topography. So that's a situation where we have to go in and calculate the BFE, right? We have to measure the existing topography and then use that to figure out where the base flood elevation would be based on the, on the, on the flow, depth of the flow, flood flow, right? And then we also have to look at has the topography changed significantly since the time the flood map was, was originally uh, created and published. Okay, and the last reason your surveyor will have to calculate a base flood elevation is uh, when there is no base flood elevation listed for the zone. So some zones don't have a base flood elevation listed. Uh, why is that? We could do a whole nother video on that, but the short answer is there hasn't been a flood study. So if there hasn't been a flood study, there isn't gonna be a base flood elevation established for the zone. That typically happens with what we call A zones. So if you have an A zone, which is a severe, severe flood zone, and you don't have an elevation, we call those unnumbered A zones. That's the slang term, right? In other words, there has been no BFE uh, established for the zone in that particular area. So depending on your local floodplain regulator, your surveyor may have to calculate a base flood elevation in that situation. And per the federal regulations, it doesn't matter what your local floodplain uh, administrator says, if you're doing more than five lots or 50 acres and you're in an unnumbered A zone, your surveyor will have to calculate a base flood elevation. Now, some unnumbered zones require a, a detailed flood study in order to establish a base flood elevation. And that typically requires, depending on your state, that both a civil engineer and a land surveyor work together to do that. So for example, here in California, 
Uh, our licensing uh, rules are fairly strict. I, as a land surveyor, can't do a bunch of engineering calculations to determine a base flood elevation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work together. I'm going to go out and take some measurements, you know, establish some some elevations on some benchmarks, do some run some cross sections. That information is going to go to the civil engineer. They're going to run, you know, what we call HECRAS model, or they're going to model the, the flood flows and, you know, figure out some rainfall totals, do that kind of, you know, civil engineering thing. Um, and then we'll come up with a base flood elevation together. So those are three situations in which your surveyor may need to calculate a base flood elevation. There could be others. The important thing to remember is if you are in one of those situations, your surveyor will reasonably ask you to compensate them, him or her, for the extra calculations that have to go in to um, determining a base flood elevation for whatever type of flood hazard management you're trying to do, whether it's an elevation certificate or a LOMA or um, some other kind of uh, floodplain regulation that you're trying to meet. So now you know when the surveyor has to calculate a BFE and you can understand why they're asking you to do that.